Okay. Uh, I guess I still feel the, the need to avoid just barging into their house. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to the backyard. Ooh. Oh, I got like the whole reflection of the back of uh, the house in both of these things. Nice. There's a skeleton with his back to me towards the back of the garden. It looks like he's digging. He doesn't turn around as I approach, but he sighs in defeat when he hears my footsteps. Fox. Sand said no spiked fences, remember? You gotta stop asking me about it. Oh, hello. You I don't care either way, but... He finally turns around and seems startled. Hello? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, are you... lost? Or if you're trying to sell us a vacuum, we don't plan on letting dust accumulate anyways. door-to-door -door salesman? Oh no! Sans, your cousin? He told me to say hi to all of you, so I'm doing that. I'm your neighbor, Jace. I see. Somebody's name is Knox. Yeah. Well, this is awkward. Oh, uh, did you need something? Like a cup of sugar? Or, um, a cup of dirt? <laughs> I have a lot of that, as you can see. You do sure have a lot of dirt. He gestures around him. There is indeed a lot of dirt, since we're outside. No, no, I'm okay. I just wanted to introduce my- it, I, No, no, I'm okay. I just wanted to introduce myself. No pressure, I don't need anything. It is nice dirt, though. Very nourishing for your plants. There's another awkward pause. There seem to be a lot of those in these, this conversation. I didn't catch your oh, name. I didn't throw it. <laughs> ha! Good one! Thanks. You can, uh, call me Ash. Nice. Have you met any of the others? Some of them. Uh, you might have better luck with the rest conversation-wise. I'm busy with my dirt. Alright, sorry. Have fun with your gardening. I leave quickly, not wanting to bother him anymore. He seemed like he wanted to get back to his gardening. Okay, now time to intrude into their home. <laughs> I guess. Go to the kitchen. I can hear what might be a serious debate happening in the house. It seems to be coming from the kitchen, so I wander on over there. I just wander into their house. Hello! You look fancy. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> this guy looks fancy. There are two tall skeletons inside. They are sorting and putting away dozens of boxes of pasta. Pasta! I apologize, I'm now mixing two fandoms in one. The debate appears to be about whether to organize the boxes alphabetically by type or country of origin. Well, actually, I think you will find Penguini, while seemingly genuinely Italian, was actually invented in 1492 in California by Charles Penguin, an abandoned penguin that... I'm not sure anything the skeleton is saying is factual. I can't help but notice the lovingly framed sign on the countertop made with macaroni noodles. It proudly proclaims no sands is allowed. I interrupt before I can stop. Is there actually something there that says... I don't see that in the, in the picture, but I guess that's why they pointed it out for us. The bones everywhere. <laughs> As if this house was made for them. Hmm. Interrupt myself before I can stop. Uh, I didn't say that right. Is there more than one? Is this a frequent problem? Is he cloning himself? The skeleton sure look I can't decipher. Yes. <laughs> it's like an infestation. <laughs> I'm not a 
doesn't really make sense. It makes about as much sense as anything else I've been told by these skeletons. Are you one of Sans' friends? Did he ask you to come to help? Yes. Who are you? And why are you in our house? I wish I knew who was who. I guess the red goes with red. This person. They've got red in their color. And then the, the pinkish goes with this person because they, they've got pinkish in their color. Well, he, he didn't tell me to help, but I think we're friends now. He kind of cryptically said I needed to talk to everyone like it was destiny. <laughs> Fancy skeleton doesn't... See? Me gets me. The fancy skeleton doesn't seem to uh, to get my meaning. The bespectacled one nods sympathetically. <laughs> oh, I'm Jace, by the way. It's nice to meet you. The pleasure's all yours. <laughs> Thanks. The bespectacled skeleton elbows the fancy one. I'm Poplar, and this is Boss. Poplar. Poplar, this is Boss. I've never heard of these two, so this is this is fun. Poplar and Boss. Are you twins? Why so much pasta? I'm your new neighbor. Why would I ask, are they twins? There is never- I can- I- it would be rude of me to ask why so much pasta. And also, I already- I have a lot of pasta as well in my house, so I can't judge. I'm just oh, gonna say- Oh, oh my gosh. Neighbor. We need to give you a housewoman gift then. Um, welcome to our house. Oh. Poplar, you're so sweet. Poplar takes a pasta box from Box and bosses hands and hands it to me. This box you? isn't warm now, but wait till you get some water boiling. Then you'll see how warm a house can be. should be giving us presents, doofus. I mean, give the pasta back. I'll bring something tomorrow. Yeah. I can make this pasta. Lovely. Good. It'll give me a chance to see the competition. Oh, I'm gonna have to ask all of the questions, I guess? Um, sure. N no, he's blood orange. I'm burnt umber. Completely different colors. You seem a little bit upset about that statement, so I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. We're identical cousins? Um. Can that happen? Well, it did. Clearly. Why would we lie about such a strange and oddly specific thing to lie about? I don't know, maybe because you're magical beings <laughs> that are different versions of each other and you don't know how to explain it to a stranger. <laughs> I don't know, you're raising more questions than I originally had, but okay. I We're guess. stocking up on non-perishables. It's been proven that carbs are the perfect vehicle for every other food, especially when they come in fun shapes. Fair, fair. Pasta is like a collectible series that you can eat. It's like a blind box where you know what you're getting and you can eat it. It's good for the bones. Are you done interrogating us? Oh, I didn't mean it to come off as interrogating. Mm. Uh oh, sorry. This pasta won't unpack itself. Thank you for the short reprieve, of course. But we really must be getting back to work. Yeah, yeah, okay. It was nice to meet you guys. Hmm. Don't you approve me? And you as well. Oh, I magically teleported back outside. Uh, I guess since I'm already in their house, just protruding. Go to the living room. I head to the living room. It's pretty spacious. Definitely enough space for ten people having a movie night. That looks like a comfy couch. Cat. Boom, boom. Sock! The sock! It's already there! With sticky notes. It's already there. It's already prepared. They just moved it from their house and set it up exactly in one place. It's the same sticky notes from their old house. Like, 
It's all the same. It's pretty spacious, definitely enough for- oh, I already read this. Hello! It's blue! I know your name. There's a colorful skeleton standing on a precarious pile of boxes. He's straining to reach the ceiling to set up the protector. The boxes are starting to lean dangerously to one side, but he seems oblivious. Warn him. Grab a box to steady it. The box under his feet crumbles and he loses balance. I barely managed to catch him in a <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Gary and his face immediately erupts into a bush. Uh... <laughs> Fell for you pretty quick, didn't <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Also, you're adorable. I can't help but laugh. What? <laughs> I put him down and take a step back to give him space. There's an awkward silence. There seem to be a lot of those in this household. Uh, I'm your new neighbor. My name's Jace. Oh! I don't know who I thought you were. <laughs> That's a pretty good statement. Stretch sent something earlier about a ladder ghost, and I half assumed I died, and you were a cute reaper. Thank you. I'm not sure what to say about that, to be honest. Am I being weird? No! No! No. Are you... Sure? Yeah? Yeah, it's fine. You're fine. Why are you standing on a bunch of boxes anyway? That isn't very safe. I lost a bet, so my cousin got to use the Sebler first. Why not wait until it's available? Sure, people problems! <laughs> uh, <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Skeleton wanders in carrying a box of what appears to be six consoles and a bunch of wires. Looks like Short Stack snatched a ladder from you. You want a losing streak, Blue? Aww. Your name's Blue? I didn't tell you my name! <laughs> Real smooth. Who <laughs> clears his throat? I'm Blue. Nice to meet you. And that's Red. We're color coded for your convenience. <laughs> I'm just a regular guy. But he's, you know, a blue blood. What? <laughs> Are you insinuating that you have blood? And am I in the presence of royalty? Should I bow? Maybe. Plan on fighting out? No. Absolutely do not. What was that even supposed to mean? Don't know, but you better hurry up. Think Nox is about done with his chores. No! My bat! Oh no, Blue! It seems like I'm off the hook for bowing. I take that as I sign to leave. The bet seems pretty important to Blue, and I'd rather not be in his way. I'll see you around. To my surprise, Fred follows me. So what are you doing in our house? Oh, hi. Yeah. Sans invited me in to meet all of you. Gross. <laughs> Jerk. Are you always the standoff? Are you always the standoffish? Red shrugs. I have a tragic backstory. <laughs> As if. What is you it? haven't unlocked it yet. <laughs> That's supposed to be meta. Just trying to break down some walls. Uh, I'll let you get back to unpacking. I think I've held you back long See enough. See you around, human. Okay. Well, time to go upstairs. <laughs> Just when I decide to go look upstairs, I hear a yelp and a crash. I run up the stairs and into the first room I see with an open door. There's a fashionable and fashionably short skeleton on the ground, hurling insults at an equally short stepladder. What? You think you're better than me? Being short and stable? <laughs> Couldn't relate. Couldn't relate. I step on you every day. <laughs> oh no. You're nothing. Are you Nox? Yeah, fuck that ladder. I'm not ever do you or your No, fuck that ladder. I hope you get stepped on past your weight limit, you hunk of scrap. <laughs> this guy's reasons levels a befuddled expression to me. Wait. Who are you? And why are you in my house? 
I'm a ghost too. I'm your neighbor. Oh, I'm so tempted to pull the I'm a ghost, but I think I think I'd just better sell it on the neighbor. Before I can say anything, another skeleton walks in. Oh, hey, it's it's you, who is either gonna be named Orange or Skeleton, or if I'm Stretch. It's you, who's either gonna be named Orange or Stretch. He takes in the situation and then dramatically leans on the doorframe, hand thrown against his forehead. Oh no! Nox has fallen down! And there's been a break-in by a really calm, confused burglar! <laughs> the short skeleton seems to fail. I haven't fallen down, you don't! I... The stepladder and I had a disagreement. I'm fine. Uh-huh. Uh, did you have a disagreement with gravity, too? <laughs> he turns to me with a scowl and a tense glare. You, on the other hand... I'm not a are burglar! Are you a burglar, like the tall one says? I'm not a burglar! No, Sansa. said... Oh. I'm your neighbor. Sans invited me over to meet you all. Ah, that's neat. <laughs> the fancy one straightens himself out, acting like everything is normal and totally It boring. is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Knox. This is my... You're not sure? Cousin. That took, you a, that took you a long time to come up with that, and y'all simultaneously came up with that, too. So named because he was subjected to a medieval torture device as a child, resulting in him being so stupidly tall. Hi. <laughs> That's all you gotta say. That's all you gotta say after that. I nod as if everything is totally normal and everything is totally fine. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I'm Jace. Right. Perhaps we can continue this conversation another time when we are more presentable. It was nice to meet you. Well, it seems like he is struggling to be cor cordial. I decide to take that as my cue to leave. Uh, yeah, likewise. I'll see you around, I guess. See you on the flip side. Don't get got by the ladder ghost. <laughs> Who is the ladder ghost? As I turn to leave, I catch Nox smacking him on the There's arm. There's no ladder ghost. Oh. Right, that's, that's just a joke. Stretch, you're kidding, right? Oh. Right. Oh. Oh, yeah, totally. Just regular old japery. No ladder ghost here. Oh. Or is there? Oh. <laughs> Our voices fade as I descend the stairs, but I can just barely make out Nox's continued shouts of concern. Is there a ladder ghost? I need to know. I've met all ten Skella cousins. The sun seems to be setting, so I think it's time for me to head home. Sans catches me in the front So, of the how'd it go? Any cat you fancy? <laughs> That's not a question, you just ask somebody. <laughs> oh, well apparently it is in fact a question that you just ask somebody. Pardon, eh? You. <laughs> My mic fell. Sorry about that. I laughed too hard. Apparently. Okay, I don't know who I would actually choose between Ross and Blue. I can't ignore that interaction with Catching Blue. I can't. Oh, yes, the dynamic duo themselves. They get up to anything while you were with them. A bit. They're both interesting characters. To put it mildly. Are bets a common occurrence in your house? Big Nox and Blue'd make every chore a bet if they could. Everything's high stakes with those two doofuses. And Red? He's a bit more laid back about it all. Competitive in his own way, though. You should see him playing base legends. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. I should be getting home. It's about dinner time. What? See ya, pal. See ya. Uh, in a blank, he's gone. What a weird guy. Back at home, I spend the whole evening thinking about my new neighbors. 
On my way to bed, I pull back my curtain again and take another look across the street. There sits the enormous house illuminated by moonlight. What does the future hold? I smile to myself, with ten skeletons living across the street. I'm sure whatever it is in store for me will be humorous. Of course. And I think that's... My guess would be that's it for the demo. Yeah. Uh, credits. So, but as the credits roll, I, I'd like to explain that um, this game is completely being made by fans and all for fun. No one's making any profit out of it, so feel free to go support them. I will put links in the description. These are some awesome people and totally appreciating what they're doing here. Even the voice acting that completely shook me. Uh, I'm loving it. <laughs> That's it for today's episode. Thank you all for sticking around. Take care and stay awesome, everybody. See you in the next one.